What up, freaks? We are getting set for a boot camp cardio freak training session. This weight, this workout, all you're gonna need is a pair. So two, and if you only have one, whatever, you'll deal with it, you'll figure it out. A pair or one, if you have a pair of the same weight kettlebells, you wanna use kettlebells, if you need to, you can use just dumbbells, but kettlebells are really gonna work better, but if you have to use a pair of dumbbells. And we're talking light to medium weight. Like I'm using, I think, a 30 pounder or something like that. 26 pounder. 26. A pair. So you don't need it to be heavy. There's a cardio workout. It's not our strength day. It just happens to be that we're using kettlebells. We use some weight. It's going to be, you need a little bit of space to just shuffle. So if you only have a small of space to shuffle, you're going to get more of the exercise, the kettlebell exercise in. If you have more space to shuffle, like we're going to be shuffling across this driveway here, you'll get more cardio in and less of the lifts. You decide how far you want to shuffle, how far across the floor you want to shuffle. Let's get loosened up, starting with our shoulder circles. These are the BS shoulder circles. Yes. Oh. What? Bishop slap. What are you <laughs> saying? <laughs> said bishop. The bitch slap shoulder circle. Stretch that shoulder. Fling the chest open. Stretch the other sides. Holding it for a second each. We're getting the ready, body ready to freaking move. Said bishop. All right, we're gonna put feet wide in the shoulder width. You're gonna reach out as far as you can. Then you're gonna reach in between your feet where you level your feet and then behind your heels and come up, fling the chest open. Same thing, now behind, middle, forward, and come up. Go forward, middle, behind your heels, and out. Back, middle, up, and up. Whatever, it doesn't freaking matter, man. Just move your ass up, down, in, out. Who cares? Shake it. Shake those arms out. Shake those shoulders out. Let's stretch those quads out real quick. You're going to stretch quad stretch. Quad stretch. Knee hug. Knee hug. On the knee hug, if you want, you can turn the heel out a little bit to get more glute. Do what you got to do. Whatever works for you. Hold it a little longer also if you need to hold it. We're going to be shuffling nonstop in this workout. Sometimes on this workout, you'll be holding your weight. Sometimes the weight's going to be waiting for you on the ends. Each round's going to be different. Don't worry, I'll walk you suckers through the whole thing. Yay. All right, stretch. Didn't sound very enthusiastic. Stretch a quad, quad, knee hug, knee hug. Quad stretch, quad stretch. Hug it. Flamingo. Hug it, it ain't a damn flamingo. It's a quad stretch and a knee hug. I don't care what they tell you in your little prank, when you prance it around in your little phys ed class. Whatever they call it, PE, PE? Yeah. Weightless education. All right, so you need a pair of weights. I'm gonna give you a second to go get your pair of weights. A pair of kettlebells or a pair of dumbbells if you have it, but the first round, all you need is one single kettlebell or dumbbell. And the whole workout, if you have to, you can use just one. And then figure, clear your space. I'm just give you a couple seconds here for right now to clear your space to shuffle. This round, this first round, you're gonna be carrying the weight with you both hands holding the weight at your chest. To show you, holding it at your chest while you're shuffling, and you'll do the exercise on each end. If it's a right hand exercise, like say, if it's a single arm exercise, you'll do two reps on the right side. You'll tuck it into your chest, you'll shuffle across, and you'll do two, rep, two left reps on your left side. A double arm exercise, like a double arm swing, which is only double arm one, you'll just hit two on each end. So your right arm will do reps on the right side, your left arm will do left reps on the left side. You're gonna hold this, both hands, at your chest while you're shuffling. So just to get things rolling, we're gonna take it slow and easy to get started, not slow, because we don't do anything slow. We're going fucking hard and fast. But you're gonna shuffle across with two double arm swings on each end. So let's get the weight at your chest, it's still kind of really just getting warmed up a little more, so do what you gotta do to get loosened up. So you're gonna shuffle across to the right and hit two double arm swings. Some of these rounds I'm gonna shuffle shorter just so your Instagram, Instagram, you guys have a little wiener there. We gotta stay inside the range. You're gonna hold at your chest while you're shuffling. Don't hold it down here, you're gonna get a nut knocker. Shuffle it across and two double arm swings. Right back to your chest. When you bring it to your chest, don't whack yourself in the teeth unless you got a good dental plan. With the hips, squeeze your butt cheeks together. Glide it across, and two double arm swings. So after the swings, then tuck it in. Control this at your chest while you're shuffling. Reach it out, 
Brace the abs. Squeeze the butt. Line across. Balls to your feet. Back to the chest. Don't come too close. If I step on you one time, I'll roll my ankle. Lift it up. One swings. And put it down. These breaks are going to be very short. Put it down just for a second, just to get you out of your arms for a second. Shake those arms out. Do what you need to do. This is going to be single arm swings. Two single arm swings. Two left swing, single arm swings on the left side. Shuffle across to your right. Two single arm swings on the right side. If it looks like I'm saying left and right, it's because the Instagrams, the Facebookers do it backwards. So you're still shuffling. Hold that weight at your chest. Let's do it. Shuffle across to the right. Two right arm swings. Bring it back to your chest. Shuffle across to the left. Two left arm swings. Zip across. Two right arm swings on the right. Up to your chest. You're holding it up at your chest while you're shuffling. So you're in complete control. Positive control of that weight while you're shuffling. So it's not just dangling down by your nuts. Good workout over there. Left arm swing. Chest, zip it. You're cramming. I don't want to have to keep looking behind me because I'm making out the other work. I don't want to step on your foot. Zip across. Left arm swing. Zip it. Right arm swing. And good. Time. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Just getting the blood flowing. Barely just getting warmed up. So we're gonna go cleans. Two right arm cleans on the right side, two left arm cleans on the left side. Clean is right up to here. From in between, whip it into that shoulder rack. Let's do it. Right arm cleans, right side. I'm starting on the left, so they can see us. What? I'm on the left, you are on the right. So we you just keep the shit out of everybody. <laughs> because I'm yeah. starting on the left, so we can mix each other. You know, you go on the right, I go on the left. <laughs> it's good that nobody I'm was here. Ruin it. This was like a project shit kind of thing, you know? like things Two right arm cleans. On the right, like tuck it into your chest. Shuffle it across. Two left arm cleans. On the left. <coughs> Are we bringing it down and up like full two? Like look, one, two, and then up. You're losing the people at hello. <laughs> Whip it. You're pulling the zipper right up the middle of your chest. Tuck it in. Zip across. Ha! Right away. Flow right to it. Do what you got to do. Smooth transitions. Shake it. Shake it. This one is going to be two push presses. So you're holding it here. The debate whether or not to do two push presses, but let me see. We're going to decide here. Yeah. By the time you get it to here, better off doing clean to press. We're going to do two clean to press right there on each side. Two right on the right. So no push press. We're going clean to press. We're going to skip the push press because you're already holding it in a weird place. So it's going to make better flow. We're stopping. Might as well do the whole thing. So it's going to be two. Clean to press each end of your shuffle. To right, clean to press on the right. Did you stop poking people? You're a creeper. Oh, Don't touch my shit. Don't be poking people for my shit. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. I see Get nose. away from the screen. Who pokes people on my I space? Do. Me and Vijay. Let's go. To right. No, I didn't. To right arm. I to poke. 
Clean the press. On the right side. Get it back into your chest. Shuffle across. And to left arm. Clean the press. On the left side. Get back into your chest. Do what you gotta do to transition. Smooth transition without yanking on your elbows or shoulders or wrists. Whip, dip, snap it up. Dot, drop, whip, dip, snap. Yeah. Slide across the floor. Shuffling. it up. Time. Snatch is coming up. Two right arm snatch on the right, two left arm snatch on the left. It's going to be a very, very short break. You don't need much of a break here. Just still getting rolling. What else can we possibly do? We did all the main exercises. Are we going to like change up what's here? Figure it out, kid. You can't figure out the whole workout by now. Slipping, man. It's being the you're not losing track of the different creativity of the nation. Huh? Creativity of the nationality. Creative Two. Two. Snatches on each side. Whatever side you're on, just start with free snatch. So we'll go left arm. Snatch. That's whipping from bottom to top in one count. Boy. Get it into your chest, secure it, and then shuffle across. That, that's a little mini break there. In between, just to get it locked in to your chest while you're shuffling. Whip, to left arm snatch, left, to right arm snatch, right, tuck it, glide it across. I'm going off the Instagram so you can see a little baldy there. That is the Instagrams. I know, but I'm going off it. You're staying, you stay on Instagram, you be short. For the most part, at least down on one side of the Instagrams. Glide across. All Instagram sees is me zipping by every time. I'm not doing any exercise. Security your chest before you do the shuffle. So I'm securing it and then going off. So don't do it while you're moving. You'll end up pulling on your shoulder, your elbow, your wrist, or some shit. With boom, boom, time. All right, we're still sticking with the shuffle, with holding with both arms for a double arm jack press up. Sucker, sucker couldn't figure that out on your own. You are slipping. Jack press. Hold the California mind has gotten to you. Did they let you smoke weed in second grade or whatever grade you're in? What grade you're in? Fifth. Fifth grade? Is it like part of fifth grade, like class in California? Passing around the weed? <laughs> I don't think so. You don't think so? <laughs> they put weed in your brownies? Smoking with them. That's what people do. They put the weed in their brownies and cupcakes. Like there's weed brownies. Yeah, all kinds of edibles and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who is Talk with us? Are you guys working out or are you just coming and watching? Arlene, Paul, hello guys. I'm trying to scroll down. Not poking anybody. Jamie. All right, let's roll. So it's double arm, jack press up. Two on the right. It's already at your chest. Shuffle across. It stays here. Jack press up on the left. Are we starting? Yeah. No, I did like eight of them for nothing. You ain't gonna burn no calories watching me. You're the kind of person that puts the treadmill on start and sits on a chair and watches it and say you did three miles on a treadmill, ain't you? One, two. He didn't look like one, look. <laughs> you calling him back? No, I didn't say anything. 
called you a fat old lady. I'm just joking. Like, so look at this kid. <laughs> this kid is so strong and powerful. He's working out at 5 a.m. before school starts. If he knows that he's busy in the evening. That's Are nice you? Boy. Are you done talking back there? No. Just starting. Oh, it's not fun. It's a chunk of iron. It's a cannonball. That's worth like. Wait, how much dollars is per pound? Don't worry about it. Watch your feet. I can still go and talk. How have you not run out of words for your life already? Like the human voice box has to be limited to how many words it can get out in a lifetime. How have you not run out of your quota by now? How? Are you going to get out next? No. Too much. Let me tell you Time. Next coming up, last one for this round is we'll split jack, jack press up. There are times you can do jack press out, but for this type of weight that we're using, wouldn't be very smart on your shoulders, which is why we're not doing jack press out. Only the different variations of jack press up. So we are here doing split jack on our back. Up, so you can see on the Facebooks where your feet are just going front to back. Two presses up. That's it. Double arm, and you go to the shuffle. Two jack split jack press up on the right. Two split jack press up on the left. Let's roll. Last one for the round. Finally done with round number one. We're only doing ten rounds. Don't worry. Just ten, not fifteen or twenty this time. And this is only round number one. It took like forty-five minutes. Enjoy, suckers. Jack press up, split jack press up, get your feet lined up, square it up, and then do the shuffle. Abs needs to be tight, especially on this one. When you're pushing that up, and your feet are going front to back, core is tight. Zip it across. Check you over the big boys, I'll run you into the ground! Ha! Time! That's the end of the round. See Russian, it. Russian, tell him something. See, he throws me under the bus right now. Tell him something. He is run, he run out, out of content right now. He needs to go and sit down. You should see him. Now he's so out of breath. He's going. <laughs> That's what happens when you work out just once a month. And I have finally the freedom to poke everybody. So awesome. I'm going to wave to you guys. Some of you I can't wave. So guys, what's going on with you out there? Who is working out with us? Who is not? And who's been working out every single day? Is your workout non-negotiable? Is it on the schedule every single day? What else is on the schedule? Just share with us because we love to always hear from you. Because we not only leaders in the industry as far as the workouts and our application for workouts at home, but also leaders in life coaching. So the discipline, the habits, is that's what we do on a daily basis. And because we've done it ourselves, we can share with you. No one could teach you something that they don't have it because, and we can, so we trying to spread the best world out there and create the courses for you guys so you can go at your own time and create the disciplines and the habits that you can implement in every single day, in every single part of your life. So we called our Operate to Dominate Life Coaching when it involves the mind, the body, and the business. So I wanted to hear from you right now. What has but been <laughs> the biggest but struggle so far? What are the areas of your life you lacking awareness? And now All right, I'm going to come and save you people. No, 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 no. I'm going to come and save you started. people. Who's got a dollar? You got to start giving me your dollar. You just shush now. I'm talking. Give me a dollar for a nickel or something. Shit. So it starts with self-awareness. If you're not self-aware okay, of the things that are happening in your life, you won't be able to move forward. So now the self-awareness is grab your kettlebell. Self-awareness you is when you are babbling. Be self, be self-aware when you are just babbling too much and no one knows what the fuck you're talking about anymore. That's self-awareness. That's the ultimate level of self-awareness. <laughs>
<laughs> all right, let's roll. So you now know the order of all the exercises you're doing on the ends. You just now have to know how are we going to get there. That's all we're going to change around is how we're getting from side to side. How? Still going to be a shuffle, except check it out. Here's the thing. What's going on in there? She's chopping the tree. The direction you're moving to, that is the hand you're going to hold it in. So you're doing a single arm hold on the shuffle. So check it out. I'm going to the right. I'm going to hold this in my right arm. I'm shuffling across. What was my first exercise? Swing. Double arm swing. Two double arm swings. From there, I need to get it to my left. So you're going to clean it up there. Shuffle it across. Two double arm swing on the left. So it's just single arm hold. Wait, did we start? Yeah. What the fuck does it look like we did? Of course we start. I'm almost, I start. I'm almost done with the damn round. Double yeah. arm swing. Get it up to that. Abs? Get up to that shoulder rack quickly <laughs> and flip into two double arm swings. Get up. Get too close behind me. Get it to the left arm. So you're holding it with the left arm as you shuffle to the left. And then, obviously, on the single arm exercise, you'll do your single arm reps on that side as you shuffle over. You'll see it next round. This one's double arm, so you don't get the full flow. The double arm actually screws up our flow a little bit. But then think also switching arms later is going to screw up our flow. Whip. Get it up to the shoulder rack. Clean it up there. Two and clean. You're actually getting a shitload of cleans this round from bringing it back up to that shoulder rack. Whip it, dip it, snap it in, lock it in place, shuffle it across. Double arm swing. Rack it, shuffle it. Tons of core here. Keep it tight. Time. Next round is gonna be single arm swing. So you're gonna hold it in that right arm shoulder rack while you're shuffling to the right. You're gonna get there, drop it into two swings. After the two swings, you're gonna clean it up to the left side. So then you're gonna shuffle across to the left and the left side. So that's gonna be the transition point there after the two exercises. You don't need much of a break after that round. It's like a second just to get the weight out of your hands. A quick little touch on the stretch of your legs, quick little shake on your noodles, arm noodles, and we're ready to freaking roll. I'm going to start here with a shuffle, so I'm going to rack it in my left arm. I'm shuffling to my left side. I get over to the left, it stays in the left for two left arm swings. From there, I'm transitioning, getting up to the right side, and shuffling to my right for two right arm swings. I'm going to whoop your ass, boy. Shuffle to the left, put it in the left hand. Left I swing. want the opposite side so they can see it. Oh. Are we going through this again? <laughs> As you confuse the fuck out of the, the fine people? <laughs> Look what a nice coordination going. You over here, I'm over here. Right, people? No, only are you confusing the shit out of them. You're confusing Who's the shit out of us. Who's agreeing with me? Hearts for me. Flip, dip, left arm, two what left arm swings. The opposite After the two, look at the smooth transition. It goes right to the right arm. Whoa, look at the control. Control your damn body. Control the damn weight. Whip it up. Shoulder the rack. Glide it across. Flip, dip, snap it, lock it. Double arm cleans, or two, not double arm cleans, two cleans on the right side, two left arm cleans on the left side, whatever dry side you're shuffling to, that's arm your shoulder racking. So you're gonna have a shoulder rack, flow right to do cleans. After the two, you're gonna need to transition however you need to to the left arm. Transition is by passing it over 
or if you want to drop it down so you can clean it up to get it up there safely up to you. how you get it there just keep it smooth don't be yanking and jerking and flip-flopping your ass all over the place we're going in a couple freaking seconds one two three four five six all right let's roll you're right, you're right. So i'm gonna start with it in my left shoulder rack i'm gonna shuffle to my left Shuffle across, two left arm cleans. That's the bottom half, comes right to the shoulder rack. I'm gonna drop it and clean it up to get up there. It makes it a better flow than just stopping and handing it off. That's like a weird chop. So at least this, look, drop it down, clean it up left and shuffle. Oh, look at that. Smooth like mother flipping butter. Butter can't. Did you just get excited because I said butter? I don't like butter, I hate oh. butter. You used to like it. You. Huh? They don't like no, butter? You just know better that butter do. is fat. You thought? Lift it up. Smooth to the other side. Shuffle to the right. Then in the right arm. Can we just do one clean? Because then it's going to be three cleans. Oh no, three cleans. You don't have to. You can just transition it over. It'll be all sloppy and choppy. You'll probably knock your teeth out. Whatever floats your boat, kid. Glide across. We have a boat. <laughs> You're about as sharp as a bowling ball. Thanks. Flip, dip, racket, oh. glide, and two cleans on the right. Switch to get the smooth transition to get it over there to the other side. Cruising along. Keep it up my ass, kid. Flip, switch. Flip it, dip it. Second time, rack it. Oh, switch. He almost followed me. Almost followed my fuck up or flip it. Ha! Switch it. And shuffle it, huh? Oh. Long round to this. Cruising. Only bringing two at a time. Three. Yeah, sharp as a bowling ball. Someone caught on to that. Alright, shake it. So next, if you've been paying attention, you know we have clean to press. Same game, you're holding the right arm, you're shuffled across with the right arm, you do two clean depresses with the right arm on the right side, you do the, the clean switch to the left arm, you shuffle across to the left side with it wrapped in your left arm, two clean depresses on the left arm on the left side, and then you do the old switcheroo before you go to the other freaking side. We don't need much of a break. We can cruising, man. Cruising, man. Where are we at? Let me see. I see how many, oh, shit, 20 how minutes, many right? wing slaps does a hummingbird do? Uh, 78 per second. 78 per second a hummingbird? Did you know a hummingbird flaps this wing 78 per second? 78 times per second. We just saw one flying here. That sounds impossible. It's so crazy, right? Oh, did you it's know that the European swallow fly can fly uh, 11 meters per second? The what? A swi the uh, fly a fly swallows urine? No, what? A European swallow fly. European swallow urine? What? Swallow European fly. Swallows Ur urine. Urine. Oh, Who swallows oh urine? Oh god. European. Urine. Who your know urine is? Oh god. All right, let's European go. European swallow round. fly. Swallows urine. Oh my god. It can fly up to 11 meters per second. Whoa, that's a fast fly. So in 15 Jesus. seconds. All right. Falling? So we're going to put that in your right arm. That's or whatever I'm in. I'm going to shuffle to the right. <laughs> I'm kind of doing this whole workout thing. This ain't Nat Geo, okay? What the heck is Nat Geo? Get across the National Geographic Channel. Nat Geo. Ooh! Clean to press. Two on the right. I almost snatched and I had to cut it mid snatch. Transition to the left arm so it's racked and I could shuffle across in the left arm. Flip. Dip. Punch it up. Flip. Dip. Punch. Drop for a clean transition. Watch your toes, kid. Flip. Dip, clean to press. On the right for two. 
Smooth transition, clean to the left and zip it out. Throw it up, flip, dip, chuck it into the sky. Clean over to the left. Transition smooth, very smooth transition. Throw it up, clean the press. Tracy, are you using 15 pounds? Clean the switch. 13 That's sad, I'm using 26 and using 13. I'm using 15. But this is his card. Wait. Flip, clean, press, clean. Press, and then a clean transition to the left arm. Zip it across, left arm. Clean, too clean to press, left arm. Two more rounds left after this one. No. One more round or one jack. more? Snatch and then jack press up and split jack press up. Three. Oh, shoot. Too clean to press. Left side, suckers. I just knocked my head out. Poor kettlebell. <laughs> 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 Alright, shake it, stretch it, Mommy? snatches, coming up. Nobody's watching mommies. That's sad. <laughs> no, all of our all of our Instagrams are totally We're telling your followers thin. that you've started a live video. Hang on, we're telling more oh Luke. So, chop, chop, this is, restricted. remember, this is a whole 60 minutes of a workout, so, if you jump, if they jump right in, we are halfway through the workout. They have to start from the very beginning. This video will be posted on my, on my feed, so you guys can follow right along with everything. You just need a kettlebell or a dumbbell. How is everybody doing here? Good evening. I see a couple of Stop you guys. Stop touching my phone. <laughs> Get your slimy paws off my bone. All right, snatch is coming up. Let's do it. So I'm going to clean it up to the right side. I'm going to shuffle to my right. Two right arm snatches on the right side. Yay! So let's roll. Flip. Boom. One. Two. Smooth transition. Clean it to the left so I can shuffle to the left and hit my two snatches on the left. There's the flow. Whip, dip, punch it. Whip, dip, snap. Flip it. Transition, clean it. Get too close, kid. Bottom to top in one count as you're doing on this snatch. Clean is just getting it to the halfway to the shoulder rack. So you're ready to move. Two snatch right. Boom. Suck. All right, shake it. You know, we got jack press coming up. We're gonna go pretty quick. So we gotta finish on the second round because we still have to get a whole entire other round in. I feel like ten. A whole entire other rounds. Uh, seven whole other round. Eight other whole rounds. Uh. We got double arm 
You're still shuffling with just single arm when you get to the end. Depending on your weight, if your weight's light enough, you're gonna do jack press up, single arm at the right. If your weight's a little too heavy, you'll go double arm. So on my right side, I might go double or single arm. On the left side, I might go double arm, just because left shoulder's a little tweaked from training that BS, the BS warm up that we did earlier. That's a rotator cuff. It's a little tweak. All right, let's do it. Screw that you know, damn break. Mm -hmm. So it's at your right in your single arm rack, mm -mm. right arm, shuffling to my right, to jack press up, right arm. Transition, that's a weird transition, but this one I think we can just hand it over to the left. Let's see if I can do it. To jack press, ah, oh, left arm, that sucked. All right, we're just gonna do a transition like that. So you just get over to the left side, however you need to get to the left side for the shuffle and jack press up. I'm gonna transition into a double arm jack press up my left side. It doesn't feel right on my left side. You do what you gotta do. Right arm, I'm gonna try and keep single arm. Transition to left, shuffle. I'm gonna transition to double arm, jack press up. Right arm, shuffle, ha, ha. Gets it a double, zip it. Right arm. This one's a little slower around, but a little harder of around, so we're not gonna have to do too many of them. Why you start wearing your shoulders down too much? Time. Because we still have split jack press up. So we don't need a ton of them. You're going to get plenty. You get plenty of shoulder work. The difference between working hard, working smart, combining the two, finding that freaking sweet spot. We're not being dumb about the training you're doing. All right, last one for this round. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Save the recovery for the, for the last round. Let's go. So I'm putting the right arm, shuffling across to my right side. I'm going to go split jack press up Right arm for two. I'm gonna to transition to my left arm for the shuffle to my left. Split jack press up for two with the left or I'm gonna do double arm on my left side. You can do single arm if your right arms or shoulders are feeling good or if your weight's light enough. Split jack, press up, transition left arm, shuffle, split jack, press up. Transition right arm. Split. Jack and press, left, shuffle left, split, Ooh, split jack, press up on the left side, get that weight back into the right arm, single arm as you're shuffling, that should be fine, unless you, hey, listen, if you have to, you look, you just shuffle with both arms on, if you're losing it, if your arms are fading, just hold both if you have to, do whatever the hell you gotta do, shuffle it, time, all right, here's what you're gonna do before you take your break. Before you, oh, we don't take a break. Before you take your recovery. You're gonna take one kettlebell and put it on one side of your shuffle. That's why I told you to get a pair in the beginning. Your second one of the same weight, you're gonna put on the right side of your shuffle. And then you're gonna go hydrogenate and listen to some Russian babbling. I strongly suggest you download Google Translate so you can understand what the fuck she's saying. Tell him something! Tell them something. Let's, Tell talk them something. Let's talk about timing, guys. Timing before your sessions, because that's a common thing for people. I mean, overall nutrition, it's so easy, guys, but a lot of people don't understand. You need to have the right things and at the right times. There are two components. I talk about this in details in my course, Nutrition 360. So you can purchase the course of a 21 lessons life lessons that will give you a whole whole picture of how to stay fit for life there is no diets included in it there is pure knowledge of over 20 years studies and case studies on over 20,000 people so for the, for those of you who knows us we had we were running a very very successful uh, multi-location business in new york when with boot camp and boxing but timing 
you should have about two hours before your workout before you uh, without food so what I mean by that a lot of you a lot of clients would want to get the energy and boost their energy and enthusiasm before the workout and enthusiasm. an hour before they would the just start eating tundratized enthusiasm but the thing is that you cannot do that because then your body will be busy digesting so you want about two hours window so what you can do you can have two hours before you can have a protein shake right something light something that will not sit in your stomach because if you time it wrong you might not be getting the right energy that's why you might you might be feeling sluggish at the workout so People ask, ask us all the time, what do we do that we get such an amazing energy in those workouts? Well, it's just a freak family. We work and out and cocaine in the morning. <laughs> and the, <laughs> here comes the fun part. Nothing like a good <laughs> snort of cocaine in the morning to kickstart your day. He just ruined my whole presentation. What, you can make a, more, you can make a much higher profit <laughs> off of cocaine than you can at Herbalife, okay? I'm trying to make some motherfucking money here. Strip, strip, strip. Who's gonna put the dollar bills here? No, not dollar bills, hundred dollar bills. All right, so now you have your one weight on each side. The exercises are gonna stay the same, but now I'm expecting a much faster shuffle because you'll have no weight. This is giving our arms a break. When you get to the right, you're hitting your two reps on the right side. The only problem is you're gonna have to go all the way low down to get your weight, obviously. So don't just, just don't flop over and screw your back up. Squat down to get it down there. Hit your two exercises, put it down. Carefully. Do you know a majority of the gym, the gym injuries, I forget the number, but it's a high percentage of injuries that people get in the gym is not even from the exercises themselves. It's from the lift off and the put down of the weight. Now, at least that was a while ago, a, year, a few years ago, that was a huge statistic and study they did. That Here just, we go. So your set, you would do perfect, but then when you're done, you would go reach and put it back on a rack like this and end up pulling their back out or pulling a hammy or a butt string or something. So let's do it. Let's roll. Let's do it the right so way. You have a weight on each side. I have one weight here, one weight here. So you're gonna start on one side. I'm gonna I... shuffle to my left, and I'm gonna hit my two double arm swings. I'm gonna place it down, look, under control. I'm gonna shuffle to my right, and hit two right arm swings, or two double arm swings on the right. Watch those guys. Zip it across. Time's gonna be quick. So your arms are getting a break on the shuffle, which means you should be shuffling faster, much faster. We strategically save this for the end when your arm's gonna be more tired so you could get a little faster. Burnout round! Yeah. Because guess what? We're not taking a break in between exercises, suckers. All right, we're switching to single arm swings on the fly. So whatever you are, I'm gonna shuffle across. Two left single arm swings, left side. So we're doing all of these straight through on this round. Two, bring it down with control though. Oh, fuck. And two right arm swings on the right side. Whip it. Down, zip it across. Left arm swings on the left. Zip across. Right arm swings, right side. Put it down with control. Don't fuck your back up. Or you yank your shoulder. Burn out round! We're gonna transition to cleans wherever you are. Just keep flowing. Shuffle to the left. Two left arm cleans on the left. Zip it. Right arm cleans on the right. Zip across. Whip it up. You know, those abs tight. Control your back. It's late in the game. You don't want to be screwing your back up. Up and down with control. See, my head is up. My chest is lifted the whole time. Whip. Zip it. it up. We're going to clean to press. Wherever you are, just flowing, clean, press. And it's just one clean to press. I want this fast. Zip, clean, one? press. Yeah, just one. I want it to be fast paced. <sighs> Two will kind of chop our pace too much, but going all the way up. Clean, press left, bring it down with control. Zip across, clean, press right. We want that heart rate up through the roof. Whip it, dip it. Snap it! Zip it! Ha! Oh yeah. This is a good flow here with single. It's better than double. Double would really screw the flow. And yeah, I made it up on the fly right there. It was originally supposed to be double, but for some reason, single just felt right. And it does, I can tell. It feels good flow for a burnout. Snatch! 
One snatch, that's it. Zip. Snatch left. Zip to the right. Snatch right. Snatch left. Oh yeah. We are flowing. All right, jack press up. Coming up, double arm. Jack press up. One. One time. So it's really like a power jack. Really one power jack each side, if you think about it, right? That's all yep. power jack. Power jack. Oh, that flows. Oh, that flows. I like it. Ha! Ah, that was originally supposed to be two also, but two just wouldn't flow. Change it up on the fly. Make it better. Oh. Fuck. Split jack. Press up. Figure it out. Two. This one we're gonna do two, just because by the time you get it up. Split jack. Press up. Don't alarm. Oh. oh yeah. Fuck yeah. Ha. Almost there. A few more. Suck it the fuck up. Suck it the fuck up. That's one word. New word in the English language. Suck it the fuck up. One more, one more. Time, oh, suckers. That's the workout. Hi, we are done. We are done. Did you have oh yeah, that was a good burn around. That felt freaking good. All right, so check it out. Minimal equipment, minimal space, maximum effort. Positive attitude, all fucking takes. Positive attitude, maximum effort, done deal. And anything you're doing. Having that discipline and energy, that's the foundation, that's all you need to get this shit done every freaking day. The Freak family, we have a goal to take zero days off in 2022. Zero days off. Training every day. And we're not talking about just exercise every day, we're talking about training. We're talking about 60 minutes minimum of training every day. And it's just to show what we're capable of. And it's also to force you, force us, to get our recovery elsewhere. Meaning, recovery in the nutrients you're eating, the food you're eating, your meal timing. Recovery with the right hydration, with the right amount of sleep, and the right quality of sleep. That's what we're recovering, because we're not getting any days off. So we don't have that luxury recovery on days off. We need to recover in between those workouts, 365 freaking days for 2022. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Also, make sure to check out the OTD online courses. There's the Freak Mode 40 Daily Discipline Habit Challenge, a 40-day habit challenge for you to take. There's the Freak Nutrition 360 course, which teaches you in all areas, all possible scenarios in life, how to eat better and proper that could last for the rest of your life. Not a diet. It's a way of freaking life, a way of thinking. Installing a new nutritional operating system into your body. So check out that course as well as the daily discipline or daily domination freak freedom scheduling mastery course to learn how to schedule your day so that you have a good day every day and every day is fucking awesome -er than the last one. So check those out. We got to get rolling and check. Tune in later today for Steve Says, episode number 120. I got to get rolling in the case no one told. Oh, first, we didn't do a hairy knuckle fist bump. To finish off for kicking ass the workout. In case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses, little freak. Show anything you want to take him home with. No excuses. Very, very, very normal child. I came out here against from. We will talk to you later. No excuses. Post the link. I posted here.